Good evening, everyone. Good afternoon, whatever time of day it is. How you doing? As always, place your cross on first, no matter what's going on in your life. You know, especially during this time and age, this time frame with all the stuff that's going on in this world. You see, the thing is, the world wants you to fear and God telling you not to. God doesn't tell you all these things coming to pass for you to get afraid. He's telling you all these things coming to pass for you to get ready. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. But as I was saying, people, you know, because every time you turn on the TV, it's, look at what's happening. Look at what's happening. Well, if you read the Bible, none of this should shock you at all. None of this should shock you. You shouldn't be like, oh, man, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. Not as a Christian. You shouldn't be afraid. You shouldn't be fearful. Because you see more people praising their allegiance to Satan. Uh, you're supposed to get scared now. No, he told you all this stuff was going to come to pass. You know why people are getting afraid? Because the world been promising peace for so long. Mm -hmm. And they're looking for that peace on earth that ain't going to come until Jesus returns. Mm -hmm. Now you can get the inner peace now. You can get mm -hmm. the peace that Jesus asked you to get, that you can get from him, a peace that surpasses all understanding. You can get that right now. You know, only you see now, now you understand with all the stuff you see going on in this world, why God says, why the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of understanding. He said, fear not man, but fear him which can destroy body and soul in hell. Right? Now you understand. If you fear him, what can this world do to you? Nothing. Especially when he told you these things are going to happen. It shouldn't be shocked, especially for Christians. You know, no need to fear. You know how I talked about this probably a few weeks ago. You know, some people who know they live a God-fearing life and they come time for them, time to go to sleep, time for them to die. They feel it's coming. And they got a peace on them. Now think about this. Well, think about the world. You know all these rumors of wars and all this stuff going on, right? Mm -hmm. If you know you are right with God, mm -hmm. why should any of this bother you at all? Mm -hmm. It shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. No need to be afraid now. You see, me personally, I don't watch the news. I don't. Every once in a while, I go on the Weather Channel phone thing on my app and see what's going on. I breeze through. And normally, I find out what's going on through people posting everything. I don't even pay attention to the news a lot. You know. Because one thing I didn't notice something about the, the world, it wants to promote fear. <laughs> but the one fear they don't promote, do I even need to say it? The fear the world don't promote is the fear of the Lord. You can blaspheme his name and be praised in this world. You can do all kind of crazy things and be praised in this world. They want you to fear the police. They want you to fear blacks. They want you to fear whites. They want you to fear Mexicans. They want you to fear gays. They want you to fear everything. They want you to fear anything they can put fear in your heart. They want you to fear. Mm. Except God. They want you to fear the one world currency. Fear, 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 fear. They want to take the food stamps away. Fear. They love promoting fear. But they just don't promote, promote godly fear. And you should. That should be very important. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right? You know, people, man, I haven't done a video like after work in a while. You understand? That's just something that came to my mind because I just see so many people are afraid. The one thing I do see that I enjoy about this, uh, not really enjoy, I don't enjoy none of it, but I appreciate that 
Some people are seeing these signs and wonders and guess what they're doing? They're turning to God. The one thing about it, people, you cannot go against what's written. You can't even read Revelation or read the book of the prophets and not see <laughs> what they talk about going on. Even Jesus warns us plenty of times. They say Jesus talked about hell more than anybody in the Bible. I wonder why would Jesus talk about hell because he built it. He was the architect of that place too. And it wasn't designed for you and me. It was designed for his angels who rebelled against him. Demons. And now it's designed for whoever want to follow their ways. You know, like, I'm getting to that point, people. I'm going to be real with you. This may sound so messed up. People like, pray for the word. Well, I'm going to put it like this. I'm going to use scripture for you. I'm going to say what Jesus said. I pray not for the world. <laughs> but those you have given me out of it. And you got to understand what I'm saying. Everybody has their mission. Everybody has their people who they are designed to reach. Don't need for me to pray for China. That's a broad prayer. I like to pray for the whole world. That's pretty broad. You don't know what's going on over there. You don't know. Lord, touch the whole world today. That's a that's pretty broad. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if you really think about it, how broad that is. Like, what? You don't even know what's really going on in the third world countries or in the Amazon rainforest. But you know a lot about what's going on in your territory that God has given you. Pray for the people that are God set your mind on. They got prayer warriors over there. You got a domain that he's given you. Think about it. Why do you think I always sent the disciples to certain places? I need you to go over there. I need you to go over there. You see, the norm of the, most of the world are under the sway of the evil one. The majority. Wide and broad, narrow and few. <laughs> You're wasting a lot of time praying for people who do not care. I'm just being real. I'm not saying you're going to just do it like that because you're going to pray for a lot of people that don't care, but you got to understand what I'm saying. You have a mission. You have a set area for you. People that are around you. People on your Facebook page. Or whatever. TikTok, whatever. But the reason why you need to pray for a number of reasons during this time frame because there's a lot of trickery. I talked about this this morning. There's a lot of trickery going on. The real and the fake. There's so many people rising up, spreading knowledge. Mm. I, this is one thing I didn't. I haven't seen so many Christians debate with each other in my life. It's like everybody get a revelation. Everybody want to rebuke somebody else. Great. At the same time, but I don't know, man. I'm kind of getting to that point where I'm like, I'm about to distance myself from a lot of social media. Mm -hmm. Very manipulative. Mm -hmm. Certain TV shows, certain things. I think it's about time to get ready. I don't know when Christ is coming. But then think about this. If God said in your mind it's your time to get ready, it's time to get ready. Because a number of things, you can die tomorrow. Even with all this stuff going on in the world, you can die tomorrow. I can die in the next 30 minutes. <laughs> Do you understand, people? And dying without knowing Christ, not putting them at the Lord and Savior, that's got to be the most scariest thing that could ever happen to a human being. Apart from anything in this world, he said it's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Lord. Now think about that. That's what's going to happen to everybody who don't get their life over to Jesus Christ. They're going to fall into the hands of the Lord. They're going to see what fear is all about. Mm. When there's no more God that you can call on for comfort, for nothing. While everybody else gonna be in his bosom, all the outsiders gonna be somewhere else that will be weeping and gnashing your teeth. 
I just want to do some real talk with y'all today. You understand? Help you understand some things. Don't worry about what's going on. If you read your Bible, you study, you know this is going to happen. Oh, the prices is getting higher. Uh, I'm going to tell you something with COVID-19 hit. And my faith was made stronger during that time period. I even got COVID. But one thing never stopped food on my table. I think that I give all that glory to God. He never took me out of work. You see, one thing about it, when you hear is, the Lord is your provider. You don't need to worry about the price of the rising prices. You need to worry about none of it. Because he got you. Now, if you're trying to live from the world and you're expecting the Lord world to bail you out, yeah, you got need to worry. But if you trust in the Lord, you have no need to worry. I ain't going to say you're going to eat all the best foods you want to eat. But he will provide for you. Do you understand me? Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you today? Trust in the Lord, people. Develop your personal relationship with the Lord and all this stuff won't be scary to you. Global warming. And I know God has prepared a place, right? According to scripture. You know this place, all this stuff that they made and Ain't going to be there no more. So get your hearts and minds and souls right with the Lord. No need to be scared of none of this stuff. It is written. No need to fear. And what he said, perfect love does what? Cast out fear. Now think about that. Fear the Lord is beginning to understand it, but perfect love cast out fear. When you start living a life that's pleasing the Lord, you're going to stop fearing a lot of things. Once you start loving God like you should and operating in His will for your life, you're not going to fear much. I'm not saying you're not going to suffer and not worry sometimes. Yeah, you're going to go through those things. But that Fear of what's going on around the world because you love God so much and you know he got a plan. You're not going to be afraid as many, as most. I hear people, what you talking about? The UFOs. And nothing. <laughs> we think about the earthquakes and all this crazy stuff. Nothing. What do you know about the hurricanes? Nothing. No fear. Am I saying I'm a fool? Am I saying if... The Lord was to allow a hurricane to come to Mobile, Alabama at a Category 5, and he gave me means to escape. You think I'm not going to stand by? You know, I'm not stupid now. Mm. You know, discernment is part of being a Christian. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? People, just wake up. Realize what the perfect will of God is for your life, and all this stuff that's going on in the world won't affect you as much. Yeah, you're going to feel pain because of the things that's going on in the world, because the righteous will suffer. You're going to hate a lot of things that's going on. But you got to understand something, people. Prayer does change these things. But some things are going to change for the worse. And there's nothing you nor I can do about it. The Antichrist is coming. The rapture is coming. Lawlessness is coming. If you're expecting this world to get better, under the rules of God, uh, you can scratch that off the map. You understand? All you can do is get ready. That means develop your personal relationship with God right now. Start reading your Bible right now. Give your life to Jesus Christ right now. That's all I got to tell you. You know, try to do things that's pleasing to him. Help him to work on your heart. Teach him to teach you how to walk, how he walks. And after that, keep asking him and keep seeking him until the day of your death. Have a blessed one, people.